It has not been unusual in recent times for Ellen DeGeneres to be the topic of controversy. The comedian and former talk show hostess is known for making the guests on her show uncomfortable every now and then. Recently, a video surfaced in which her behavior with Taylor Swift has caught the eyes of people and not in a good way. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our channel. Ellen DeGeneres bully Taylor Swift? Let's take a look into it. Number 5. The Treatment of Women in Hollywood it has been some time since the world had their perception regarding how women are treated in the entertainment industry altered. After seeing the framing Britney Spears documentary, the documentary showed a sit down between Britney Spears and Diane Sawyer, shedding light on how a lot of celebrity interviews with women are set up in such a way as to berate them. One such example would be the 2007 episode of The David Letterman Show, in which he invited Paris Hilton. Another similar instance would be when he had Lindsay Lohan on his show back in 2013. These are only a few examples from a vast sample size, involving a plethora of different interviewers. Keeping that in mind, recently a clip from a past interview by Ellen DeGeneres of Britney Spears titled Someone Who Deserves an Apology, Talk Show Edition, has gained quite the traction. It is being called part of the problem by tons of people. The whole thing was made viral by Nia Johnson. It showed a very uncomfortable back and forth between Ellen DeGeneres and Taylor Swift, which according to viewers shouldn't have happened. Number 4. What Happened in the Interview What happened in that interview was that Ellen constantly referred to Zac Efron as Taylor Swift's boyfriend, even though Taylor kept saying that she had never dated him again and again. Yes you did, why do you deny it, Ellen said with a cheeky expression, insisting that she knew the truth behind their relationship status. It was quite evident that what was happening was making Taylor uncomfortable. Ellen then changes the topic, in a way. She then asks Taylor what her song We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together is about. While she asked that question, she showed Taylor pictures of many different men, saying she should ring a bell when the guy who the song was dedicated to pops up. I don't know if I'm going to do this, Taylor said nervously. This is the one thing that I have. It's like the one shred of dignity that I have. People go and make guesses about it, and the only thing that I have is like that one card, she further added. Um, we actually never dated. Yes, you did. So when you, <laughs> when y'all were here. Number three, how did Taylor respond? Ellen, without taking Taylor's objection regarding her little game into account, started it anyway. Do you know how bad this makes me feel, Taylor said, when Ellen started showing the images of her supposed romantic partners on the big screen. She even included photos of men she never dated. When the photo of John Mayer pops up, mind you, her relationship with him was, well, tumultuous to say the least. Taylor gets visibly upset. You're supposed to ring, Ellen says to her, insisting she partakes in the game, even if she doesn't want to, with Taylor replying, I don't want to, they'll send me angry emails and I don't want to get them. At this point, Ellen takes the ring from her hand and starts ringing it herself on different guys she thinks that Taylor has dated. All the while, Taylor literally begs her to stop. In an unedited version of the segment, it turned out the whole thing was even more cringe than the show on television, with Taylor yelling, stop it, stop it, stop it, before adding, it makes me feel so bad about myself every time I come up here, you put like a different dude up there on the screen, and it just makes me really question what I stand for as a human being. Before we continue, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Number 2. How did people react? The TikTok video which showed Ellen pretty much bullying Taylor Swift was viewed over 3 million times, and the likes also going over a million. Unsurprisingly, people were upset, pointing out that Taylor was literally on the brink of tears, and that Ellen completely ignored her requests of stopping. Why do they do this to women? Like, our only accomplishments are about who we've dated, it's sad, one user wrote. Alright, alright. This makes me feel so bad about myself. Every time I come up here, you put like a different dude up there on the screen. Number 1. That wasn't the only time Ellen did something like that. Something similar happened between Ellen and Mariah Carey in 2018, when Ellen tried to get a confession out of her about her alleged pregnancy by asking her to take a drink of champagne right there on her show. A couple of years later, Mariah came forward and said that the situation made her very uncomfortable, and it was hard for her to deal with it. She didn't want to tell anyone that she was pregnant because it was high risk. She went on to have a miscarriage. There's an empathy that can be applied to those moments that I would have liked to have been implemented, Mariah said. But what am I supposed to do? She asked. 
This brings us to the end of our video. Here was a look into Ellen DeGeneres bullying Taylor Swift on her show.